what's up y'all welcome back how you doing sagittarius this is your february love reading i hope all is well with you i hope you are safe i hope you are staying warm it is so motherfucking cold i'm like it's cold even for me and i love the cold it is like very cold i'm like what the fuck is going on what the fuck is going on are we in new york or are we in motherfucking antarctica i'm trying to figure it out but sagittarius this is your february love reading all right we got the mugwort burning got some candles going florida water i just wiped down my table with some florida water we got some rose water we good to go we about to get these messages we about to see what's up all right happy valentine's day to you sag if you don't have a valentine so the fuck what you the shit all on your own love on yourself Buy your own damn flowers, okay? Be the partner that you seek to yourself. That is how you uh, track your divine counterpart, all right? A lot of people ain't gonna tell you that. Fall in love with you, love on you. All right, baby? But happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. And if you have kids, shit, let your kids be your Valentine. I remember back in the day, me and my mother was definitely each other's Valentine. You know what I'm saying? She would buy me uh, gifts for Valentine's Day. And I know a lot of people be looking like, is that on my shirt? Well, oh, I think that's just the way the light is hitting it. I know some people be like, really? Like your mom bought you Valentine's Day gifts? Yep, she sure did. And I bought her Valentine's Day gifts too. Valentine doesn't have to always be a romantic partner. It's just a day of love, a day of celebration. But let me stop rambling. Y'all already know, you know, I could start getting chatty with y'all. Here we go with these orbs, okay? Hey, spirit is in the house. How you doing? I already called on spirit to guide me through these messages, okay? But you can also, you know, say your little mantras, your little affirmations, your prayers, what, what have you, okay? Protect your space, protect your energy, but it's all good on this side. It's nothing but peace and light on this side, you feel me? But we do keep it real. And with that being said, if you are someone that is easily offended, I'm gonna need you to leave this channel right now because I tell the truth. I don't sugarcoat shit. If that's what you want, then this, this may not be the channel for you. There are a million great tarot readers on here i am fairly new okay i'm making my way into the tarot community on youtube but most of you know me on instagram i'm well known on instagram but you know youtube is a new platform for me but i ain't gonna change who i am for this shit so if y'all want somebody that's real somebody that's raw then stay tuned if that's too much for you you can exit right now all right but for those of you that's staying what's up what the fuck is up like give me a thumbs up while you are viewing this all right just click the thumb up just just give me a thumbs up like it's not hard that's all i asked for all right don't really gotta leave no comment i've been turning my comments off recently you know because i just ain't got time for the foolishness all right <laughs> but um subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you fuck with me turn on your notification bell so that you can be a so you can get notified when i release new content all right because these videos just gonna be coming you know out of nowhere and i ain't gonna always let y'all know on instagram when i post a new video so make sure you turn on those notification bells if you fuck with me all right if you fuck with me it's just a suggestion all right all the information for where you can find me to book a personal reading is in the description box below you can email me you could dm me on instagram everything is very quick i respond very quick um and it's phone readings right now. I used to do email readings, but those are on a back burner. I am only currently doing phone readings. We have 30 minute reads, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, and 90 minutes. All right. So y'all decide what y'all want. If y'all would like to see any reviews, I have reviews posted on Instagram as well. Sagittarius, let's get into this. We're going to do singles first. Then we're going to do a spread for couples. So Saggies in relationships, you are um, going to be second. And then after that, I'm going to go down the list of the Zodiac, Aries, the Pisces, listen out for the signs that y'all are currently interested in, all right? Listen out for those signs at the end. Those will be quick, direct, straight to the point messages, okay? Cool. Cross watches, you all welcome, but you know, if you get your feelings hurt, that's your business. You brought your nosy ass over here, all right? I'm just fucking with y'all. I am like, I watch tarot and yeah, I'm a, I'm a fucking cross watcher, all right? So I do welcome cross watches to my channel because I know how it is. It would be foul of me to say that y'all not welcome. I be seeing readers on here saying like they don't read for cross watches. And I'm just like, okay, but why make that statement? Like you make people feel uncomfortable, but fuck it. Everybody got their own channel. 
you know, it is what it is. I curse, okay? And some people may be like, well, why she curse so fucking much? So, you know, we all got our little things that we do. But uh, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you, baby. I'm going to use the Deviant Moon deck today, all right? That's what we're going to do. Deviant Moon deck be giving me all the tea, all right? This deck got all my energy. And yes, I recharge my decks, okay? I talk to them. I sleep with them. I build connections with all my decks. So... We about to get into this. Sagittarius singles in the month of February. Spear, what love messages do you have for the star sign of Sagittarius regarding their love life and romantic connections in the month of February? Three more shuffles for the star sign of Sagittarius. Currently single in the month of February. Sagittarius singles. Also, make sure to check out your other placements as well, baby. Sagittarius, check out your moon sign, your Venus sign, your rising sign videos. If you don't know your placements, what you waiting for, go do your chart right now, okay? You guys can find out your chart um, on, Af what is it called? Cafe Astrology. Cafe Astrology, you could do your chart on there. All right, Cafe Astrology, you just plug in your information, boom, you get your chart. All right. You got the justice card here. So, Sag, you may have some Libra in your chart or you may be connected to a Libra thinking about a Libra. All right. Sagittarius, you thinking about commitment, huh? That's what you want. Sagittarius want commitment. Some of y'all really um thinking about, you know, locking it down. Y'all want a solid, firm foundation. Y'all have, some of y'all have children already, okay? So you could be a single parent, you know, you out here co-parenting, doing your thing, right, Sag? I know you holding it down. I know you taking care of yours, all right? Some of y'all really want to... Um, family you want a family union you want a family dynamic you could be dealing with an aquarius as well sag all right with this star and a reverse popping up but let's clarify everything before i really start giving y'all the tea let's see what's going on sagittarius i see here that you need to you need to communicate with this person you two need to talk you could be dealing with a virgo okay i got strong libra i got virgo and i got aquarius energy here i see that you two need to talk about something which y'all need to talk about release disappointment release burdens and some of you you want to clear the air with this person this person could be a scorpio as well i feel like you two are not talking right now but you will be talking in the month of february this person could also be a cancer somebody here called it quits all right so whether this was an actual relationship, a situation ship, right? An entanglement, whatever. Y'all know what the fuck y'all was in, right? But I'm just seeing here that there was an ending that occurred, okay? And Sagittarius, you miss this person and you want to talk to this person. This Sag, this Cancer, this Virgo, this Aquarius, this Libra. I just feel like you want to be with this person. You want to be around them. You miss them. For some of you two, there could be a distance between you two as well, okay? This person could be a Gemini too with the lover's card here, all right? Or Leo, all right with the sun reverse but i just see here that you unhappy about the um i feel like you unhappy about you know the way things are between you and this person you unhappy about the distance between you two as well for some of y'all y'all are like miles apart from each other i'm seeing here this could be a long distance connection for some of you and somebody here wants to travel to see the other person and make amends sagittarius i feel like you coming in peace baby all right, you said, I don't want no smoke. I don't want no beef. You know, I, I just, I miss you. Like, what's up? How you been? What you up to? Yeah, for some of y'all, your partner is locked up. So, Sag, come on now. What's going on? You you got a thing for them, for them wild niggas? <laughs> Let me stop. You got a thing for them wild boys? You got a thing for them felons or some shit? I don't know. You know, no shade. But this person could be a Virgo towards a Capricorn. But somebody here could be locked up, all right? Sagittarius, you could be thinking about somebody that's behind bars, baby, and you miss this person. Maybe you traveling to go see them, right? They got visitation or whatever like that. You going to see your boo? Yeah, we have the tower reversed, okay? So y'all refuse to let this go. Y'all ain't trying to hear that shit. For Sag Sagittarius, I feel like some of y'all, your, your person could be telling you something that you ain't trying to hear. Sagittarius, I just feel like I ain't trying to hear all that. You know, listen, I miss you. We gonna always be connected. That's how I feel like y'all coming in the month of February. Yeah, Sagittarius, look at that. The Emperor reverse. Some of y'all could be connected to a Scorpio. I had said that already. Could also be an Aries or Taurus as well. This person had you in a third party, if that's your story. If that's if those are the signs that you are dealing with, any of those signs I just mentioned, I feel like that person had you in a third party, baby. And they wasn't given to you. They was given to the other person more than they was given to you. 
And this is why you two ended, right? Somebody here was being two-faced. Somebody here was living a double life, right? On some straight bullshit. This person could have definitely been an Aries, okay? And their third party could have been a fucking Gemini, I'm seeing here. This person was very emotionally manipulative as well. Now they want to come back and see what's up. Sagittarius, you said fuck off, all right? I feel like this person that's coming towards you, you don't want to hear what they got to say. So this is a whole nother storyline that I'm picking up on. Y'all keep up. Y'all know I... um. I pick up on multiple storylines. So with that being said, everything ain't going to resonate. Y'all take what resonates and y'all leave the rest. But I'm seeing here that this person that had you in a third party that was trying to live a double life, trying to be sneaky, this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this Gemini, right? This person, this Aries, this motherfucker think he could just come back whenever he wants. This person could be a Scorpio too. This person think they could just come back whenever they want. Yeah, they was watching you for a minute. Then they stopped watching you. They could have been a Leo too. This person was watching you, then they stopped watching you. This person think they the man. They got a big ass ego. I ain't really feeling this dude. Sagittarius, we gonna humble them, right? All right. Keep in mind, because these are general readings, the roles can be reversed, all right? But take the story as I'm saying it, all right? If it's your story, you really don't need to flip and bounce shit. You gonna know if it's your story or not, all right? And keep in mind that these are not gender specific because these are general readings. These are gender neutral, all right? We all got masculine and feminine energy, so don't get too caught up on the pronouns that I may use if I say he or if I say she. A Sagittarius single, somebody from your past that did you wrong, that had you in competition with another person, that had you in a third party, that person is trying to come back towards you. Yeah, they was petty and all this shit. They was petty and shit, and they fucked up the relationship. They fucked up the connection that y'all could have had. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing here that y'all could have had something solid, and they sabotaged that, right? Somebody here was, like, for the streets. Somebody here was for the streets. Let's just call it what it is. Somebody here was clearly for the streets, and now they trying to talk to you again, see what's up with you. Yeah, and I feel like Sagittarius, for most of y'all, y'all don't even want to talk to this person. Y'all even want to talk to this person. This person could be a Pisces. If they a Pisces, I feel like they know they did wrong, right? Whoever it is, they know they did wrong. But I feel like for those of you that's specifically dealing with a Pisces or somebody with a Pisces rising, this person is like stuck in limbo. They playing it safe, all right? And that's probably why they was keeping tabs on you too, trying to see, Sag, if you have moved on already or not. They like, damn, you know let me see what this person is up to. Let me see what Sag is up to before I come over there and, you know, try to holler at them again. Let me see if it's safe. You know what I'm saying? This person's like, let me see what what they got going on. So they trying to put two and two together and shit, trying to see what you posting, you know, if you posting, you know, somebody watch, somebody wrist or whatever, you know, if you going somewhere, you know, looking like you alone, but you really ain't type shit. I feel like this person is trying to see what you up to before they come talk to you. Yeah. But I'm going to be real with you, Sag. I'm seeing here, honestly, this won't be successful. Somebody here is still juggling. This person still want to be out here. They still want to do their thing. They not looking for a solid commitment. So, Sag, if, like I said, a lot of you want that firm foundation. You want that family, home life. You want a real connection. You want a real relationship. This person right here is not the one that's going to provide that for you. They not in the headspace to give that to you right now, baby. This person is in and out right here. All right. And I see a cycle with you guys that's happening with this world reverse card, this king of wands reverse. I just, and this knight of wands too. I just feel like this person is like a bachelor. You understand what I'm saying? A bachelor. This person out here just... You know, they not they not on that type of time. They don't they not in the headspace right now to give to one person to have a solid to give you a solid offer, a solid commitment. All right, Sag singles. That's what I got here. That's what I got. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Hopefully, you know, something resonated for you. If not, hopefully I pick up on your energy next time, baby. All right. But I appreciate you for tuning in. Now we're gonna do Sagittarius and relationships. Sagittarius couples, y'all up next. Let's see what messages Spare has for you. Spare, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius that are currently in relationships in the month of February? Three more shuffles for Sagittarius that are in relationships in the month of February. Spare, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius that are in relationships in the month of February? We're going to do one more shuffle, please. One more shuffle. What does Sagittarius need to know in the month of February? 
What messages do you have for them in regards to their love life and their partner? What's happening with them and their partner? All right. Financial trouble, Sag. Your partner could be a Pisces. All right. You guys need to talk about this. Somebody here being selfish. So what the fuck? Like y'all supposed to be together, holding each other down. Okay. Somebody here is falling on hard times and the other person is being selfish. So Sag, either you falling on hard times and lost your job, baby. Right. Or, you know, maybe you took a budget cut, a pay cut, some shit like that. Right. You know, we are in the middle of this pandemic. Everybody money funny and they credit can't get it type shit. But I'm just seeing here like you falling on hard times or your partner could be falling on hard times. And one of y'all is like holding on to y'all coins. Like y'all ain't really trying to help. You could be connected to an Aquarius as well, a Libra or a Gemini. I got Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, and Capricorn. All right. So Pisces, Capricorn, and strong air. All right. But I just feel like the person that you connected to is holding on to their coins. And it's just like, yo... If you fell on hard times, I would help you. Like, why are you acting like that? Yeah, somebody here like, yeah, that ain't my problem. So, like, what the fuck? Like, that ain't no partner to have if y'all can't hold each other down. Yeah, I'm also seeing for some of y'all, y'all pregnant. Sagittarius, you could be having a baby, all right? You could be finding out that you are pregnant. Or Sagittarius, your partner could be pregnant. Either way, some of y'all are having a baby. Congratulations. This person could be a Leo. But I'm seeing here with the lovers reverse and the king of wands reverse and the page of wands reverse, some of y'all not even talking to this person. So what's happening here? Somebody here is pregnant and they not even talking to the mother of their child, the father of their child. Y'all beefing in the month of February. Well, I hope, Satch, if this is you having this baby, baby, I hope that, like, you are not letting this person stress you out. Because keep in mind, you know, your baby feel all your emotions, right? They know everything that you go through. That shit affects them. So you want to make sure that you staying grounded, you protecting your space, protecting your energy, all right? And not becoming too overwhelmed, too frustrated, you know, because your baby feel all of that shit. And Sagittarius, if this is your partner, then make sure you're not stressing them the fuck out in the month of February or any of the months. You understand what I'm saying? They got your child. They carrying your seed. Like, come on, act right. Yeah, we got somebody here that's juggling and somebody here that's not opening up their heart. All right. I feel like the more masculine energy in this situation is being very closed off. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Somebody with strong water in their chart. But I'm just seeing here that somebody is like being real guarded with their feelings. They're not expressing that shit. Somebody here could also be blocked too with the Eight of Wands reverse. So yeah, y'all not talking. Somebody here blocked the other person. They moved. Like what's going on here? It could be a distance between you two with the chariot. This person, yeah, like come on, what y'all doing? And somebody here is worried. They don't know what they're going to do. They kind of stressed. But guess what, baby? If this is your story... You protect it. You got the judgment card here. You got a lot of angels surrounding you. You got protection. Sagittarius, you could be dealing with somebody with strong fire just like you. I'm getting the queen of wands reversed, the knight of wands. And this is you and this is them, right? And I have the hierophant reversed. So a lack of commitment, some instability is here. Y'all got a lot that y'all need to figure out. Sagittarius, you and your partner got a lot that y'all need to figure out. Y'all need to get this shit together because the foundation of the home is in jeopardy, all right? It's like a table with four legs. That shit got two legs now. You know what I'm saying? It's about to come crashing down. Yeah, y'all y'all table is fucked up. There's no solid foundation here, baby. And somebody here is just running around and, and not being completely honest. Not being trustworthy, being sneaky. What's going on here? What we doing? Sagittarius couples, y'all got a lot y'all need to figure out. If that's your story and you got like a family situation here that's that's about to pop off, you and that person need to talk about what y'all about to do. All right? And also for those of you that's struggling financially and somebody here is not trying to help and being stingy and shit like that, y'all need to talk about that person too. You could be dealing with a Taurus. All right? But... Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That's a lot of shit going on. It seemed, it seemed real mixy. It seemed real complicated, all right? The signs that I had was Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra. You know what I'm saying? I got like damn near every sign here. But y'all will know if this is your story or not, all right? You, you and that person, y'all need to talk. Y'all need to talk. It's too much stress here. Too much unnecessary stress. I feel like this situation 
could be resolved in probably like 10 minutes tops if somebody would just talk to the other person you feel me like this shit could be resolved in no time if somebody would just talk so what we doing what's the games for person could be a capricorn too i just feel like somebody like they enjoy being a fucking like a little demon, a little devil. Like, this person enjoy, like, giving you a hard time. Like, on some sadistic type shit. I don't know. We gonna go down a list of the Zodiac from Aries to Pisces. Y'all listen out for the signs that y'all are currently interested in. These gonna be quick messages. So, Sagittarius, you dealing with an Aries in the month of February. Let's see what's going on between you and this Aries. Sagittarius dealing with Aries in the month of February. Spare, what messages do you have for them? Sagittarius and Aries. Okay, we got some conflict resolution here. Somebody here could have some Pisces in their chart. All right, Aries, here you are. Sagittarius said that you are selfish, you need to grow up, and you are immature. Sagittarius is going into hermit mode, Aries. They ain't fucking with you. Aries, I feel like you got an offer for this Sagittarius, but I'm getting this like too little, too late type shit. The Sagittarius ain't really trying to hear what you got to say because you showed your ass in the past. All right, Sagittarius, you dealing with a Taurus in the month of February? Let's see what's going on between you two. Sagittarius dealing with Taurus in the month of February. Sagittarius and Taurus. Somebody here want to be a player. Third party energy. Somebody here is for the streets. Can't make up their mind. They indecisive. They don't know who they want. All right. Sagittarius and Taurus. Yeah. This ain't no good. This ain't no good. Mm -mm. Juggling. Somebody here about to get caught up too. Yep, this is a, you guys can be karmic partners as well. I see here that this is an ongoing cycle. It's not, you know, it's not forming, it's not, there will be no higher form of commitment made, okay, in the month of February. You two are stuck in a cycle here, an unfulfilling one. And somebody here got a side piece. All right, Sagittarius, you dealing with a Gemini in the month of February? Sagittarius and Geminis in the month of February. I got communication, quick communication between you two. You two are talking in the month of February. I'm seeing here that the situation could be coming to an end. If it hasn't already, you two may be talking about a breakup, a separation. Sagittarius, I feel like this Gemini not really feeling you all that much. You got you got the two of cups reversed. So yeah, this is an imbalanced connection. Somebody here gives more than the other person. Sagittarius, here you are. You losing your patience with this Gemini. You getting irritated with them. So yeah, me, you know, while y'all are talking, I feel like there's a conflict here. There's some conflict here. There's some tension there may be an argument that breaks out. Sagittarius, I feel like you're just losing your patience with this Gemini at this point. All right. Sagittarius, you're dealing with a Cancer. Sagittarius and Cancer connections in the month of February, please. Sagittarius and Cancer. Sagittarius and Cancer. There's a decision that needs to be made. Someone here is indecisive. All right, but I see them taking action in the month of February. So cool. What's the action? All right. You guys are spying on each other. Cancer is spying on you, Sag, or Sag, you spying on this Cancer, all right? I'm also seeing here that someone is not putting in any effort, but they watching you. So it's on some shit like, I ain't going to talk to you. I'm unhappy not talking to you, but I'm stubborn, so I ain't going to reach out. But in the meantime, I'm going to just watch your every move. What type of bullshit y'all on? Yeah, very indirect, but communication is coming. Communication is coming, but I feel like the this uh cancer that's coming towards you or sad you coming towards this cancer, all right? Some of y'all are going to actually develop a relationship with the four of wands and others of you, I'm seeing here that somebody is giving the other person a boot. So, okay, don't play hard to get is what I'm getting here. Sag, if this is you, baby, or cancer, if this is you, one of y'all could be playing hard to get. Don't play hard to get because I feel like y'all both want this relationship. All right. What's the games for? What's the games for? You want that person? What's the games for? All right. Sagittarius. You're dealing with a Leo. Sagittarius dealing with Leos in the month of February. Spare, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius that are dealing with Leos in the month of February? We got communication here. Sagittarius dealing with Leos in the month of February, please. All right. After some time of not talking, you guys will be talking in the month of February. So I'm seeing here somebody was um, holding back communication, but you guys are talking again. You guys have the lover's card. 
All right, clarify the lovers for Sagittarius and Leo. Clarify the lovers. You two are soulmates, all right? Yeah, y'all could be past life soulmates. There's a familiar energy here between you two, all right? And someone here was holding back communication, but they can't take it no more. I feel like it was the Leo with the strength reverse, all right? Leo, here you are. That's your card, baby, strength reverse, all right? So this connection, you can't take it no more. You can't talk. You can't take not speaking to this person is what I'm seeing here. All right, y'all got the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords here. So somebody here could be finding out that they're a father, okay, or they having a baby. You two may already share a child together, all right, have some kind of family situation here is what I'm seeing. But somebody here is letting their controlling nature get in, in the way. So there's some controlling issues here, all right. And I'm also seeing here that somebody is non-committal. They don't really want to commit, all right. So damn, y'all got mad problems here. Somebody here is not trying to commit. Somebody here is very headstrong, very stubborn. Y'all two strong personalities anyway. Sagittarius and Leo, fire, double fire, very strong personalities. You feel me? And somebody here could have Gemini in their chart too with the lover's card. But I'm just seeing here that you guys have a really strong connection. But it's like y'all can't get it right because y'all not on the same page in the month of February, okay? Sagittarius. You're dealing with a Virgo. A Virgo, a Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Sagittarius and Virgo connections in the month of February. Spare, what messages do you have for my Saggies that are dealing with the star sign of Virgo? All right. Y'all get into the fucking bag. All right. I feel like y'all both got money. Y'all both stable, right? Sagittarius, here you are, temperance card. I feel like you are the leader, okay? So y'all two may actually have a business together is what I'm seeing here. Y'all could be going into business together. All right, and I'm seeing Sash that you you stay grounded, you stay level headed. All right, yeah, you the yeah, wow, 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 wow. You guys have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, a lot of stability here for Sagittarius and Virgo. Nigga said y'all the winning team. Can I get with y'all, please? Let me let me just hold something. Like I'm also seeing some traveling here too. Let me see what's going on with this. Somebody could be traveling as well. Y'all traveling to the bag. Y'all traveling to secure the bag. I feel like this is a business situation. And if y'all are in a relationship and y'all just, y'all both stable, y'all business partners. Yeah, 10 of cups. It don't get no better than that. 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups. Sagittarius and Virgo, y'all are very successful. Y'all a power couple. As I'm saying that, you know who I'm thinking of? Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay-Z is a Virgo and B is a, no, B is a Virgo and J is a, a Sag, you know, and they, we all know that they secured their bag, multiple fucking bags. So yeah, Sagittarius and Virgo, y'all got the money. You feel me? Y'all got the money. Cha-ching. <laughs> all right. Sagittarius, you dealing with a Libra in the month of February? What's going on with you and this Libra? Sagittarius dealing with Libras in the month of February. Spare, what do they need to know? Sagittarius and Libra. Somebody here is worried. All right. Could be the Libra overthinking. All right. Libras overthink. I'm a Libra. Libra, here you are, baby, showing up as the Empress, looking beautiful. Libra, I, I love to see you. How you doing? You ain't show up in the whole read. Libra said, I'm here now. <laughs> Sagittarius and Libra, I feel like you two are talking in the month of um, February after not talking to each other for some time. All right. Sagittarius about to come give it to you. Straight daddy shit. Yeah. King of Wands here. So somebody here about to come give it to you. Libra, Sagittarius, I feel like it's a lot of sexual energy here between you two. I'm also seeing here that somebody is in love and they about to express their love after not expressing it um, before. Also, somebody here could have to travel to see the other person as well, but they making that shit happen. They making it happen. Y'all two been spying on each other, all right? Page of Swords energy, but y'all making this shit pop in the month of February. Sagittarius and Libra, y'all getting down to business. I heard that. I know that's right. I know that's right. Libra, make sure you don't get pregnant with your fertile ass, all right? This, that's what I just heard, okay? Libra fertile. The woman in this situation, whether that be Libra or Sag, I feel like it's the Libra. Y'all better be careful. Somebody here might get pregnant. If that's not what y'all want right now, y'all know what y'all gotta do, right? All right. Sagittarius, you dealing with a Scorpio. 
Sagittarius and Scorpio connections in the month of February. Spare, what messages do you have for Sag and Scorpio? Okay, you two may have children together. I'm seeing a family situation, a home dynamic. I have the Ace of Pentacles. There's a new offer here. What's going on with this? All right, somebody is excited. So Sagittarius and Scorpio, you two are finding out that you are having a baby too. Congratulations. Well, everybody having babies, huh? Sagittarius, you just out here, you know, having babies and getting people pregnant and shit. Um, but yeah, Sagittarius and Scorpio, I see a lot of excitement here. You two may be, um, deciding to move in together as well. So congratulations. Y'all manifested a new home. All right. That's what I see here. A new home, a new offer. Somebody is getting an offer, um, about a new apartment, a new house. That's what's up. That's what's up. Many blessings to you and yours. All right. Sagittarius, you dealing with another Sag. So, Sag on Sag connections in the month of February is fair. What messages do you have for my Sagis that are dealing with other Sagis? All right. Somebody here could have Libra or Taurus in their chart. Y'all look good, though. There's Ace of Cups here, a new offer. Somebody here is very attracted to the other person. There's a lot of physical attraction here. This is a reconciliation, a new beginning, a new start. You got the Nine of Cups, a lot of happiness, Ace of Wands. Woo, Sag and Sag, y'all on fucking fire. Hell yeah. Somebody could have Libra, Taurus, or Aries in their chart. You guys got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. That's three aces. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. And y'all got the Ten of Cups. Let's talk about it. Sag and Sag, y'all good. Y'all good to go. There's there's three offers here. There's mad love here. Mad love, mad abundance. Like, great prosperity, great wealth. <laughs> okay, Sag, yes, your messages is on fire. This is what I'm talking about. I love to give good messages. You know, sometimes my messages just be negative all the time. And I'm just like... Well, not really negative, but it just be like bad shit. You know what I'm saying? Like people getting cheated on and, you know, shit like that. And I'm just like, damn, like, I hate that. I hate that. You know, I hate to hear about that shit. I hate to give those messages. So, Sag, you got some positive shit popping off in the month of February. That's what's up. Sagittarius, you dealing with a Capricorn. Sagittarius and Capricorn in the month of February, please. What messages does Sagittarius need when they dealing with caps? See, here we go with the bullshit. I spoke too soon. Sag, you showing up in the reverse, temperance reverse. Is Capricorn getting on your fucking nerves, right? I feel you. Like, I feel I feel that. I can understand that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can understand that. Yeah, y'all two could be karmic partners, right? Y'all just can't see eye to eye. Y'all can't get alone. This shit is feeling like a psycho at this point. Yeah, you want to get out. You feel like this person... You feel like you in jail with this motherfucker. Like, it's a prison with this motherfucker. Yeah, Sagittarius and Capricorn, no good. No good. Yeah, somebody here is juggling, very irritable. You two going to communicate in the month of February. Y'all going to talk about this. And guess what y'all talking about? You, Sagittarius, you want to leave this Capricorn. This Capricorn don't want to let you go. For many of you, this is the mother, the father of your child. And this person want their family. They want their family back. They said, yeah, let's be together. But Sagittarius, I feel like you don't really want this. You're not really feeling this cap. They irritate you. They upset you. They trigger you. They push your buttons. You tired of this fucking cycle with them. It's very in and out, inconsistency like a month. Fucker. And I have a lot of disappointment here with the five of cups. And I feel like this Capricorn probably be talking to you crazy. Like, I feel like this person just be like talking to you like you a child or some shit. Like, Sagittarius and Capricorn, nah, it's a dub. Like, Sag, I feel like you telling them like, yo, it's, it's clip for you. Like, niggas be losing you, right? Like, I just feel like you be telling this Cap like, yo, you be losing me. Like, <laughs> that's what I just heard. Somebody's like, yo, you be losing me with that shit. Yeah, Capricorn think they somebody fucking mother or somebody father. Like, fuck out of here. Um, Sagittarius, you're dealing with an Aquarius. Sagittarius, you're dealing with an Aquarius. Sagittarius and Aquarius connections in the month of February, please. Sagittarius dealing with Aquarius. All right, there's happiness here, emotional fulfillment. What else? Sagittarius and Aquarius, I feel like y'all love each other. That's what I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. But somebody here is like, no bullshit. They could have Libra in their chart. So they like, don't play with me. We're going to work together. We're going to make this We gonna make this work. And as I'm saying, they could have Libra in their chart. I got double Libra here. Queen of Swords Justice card. So Aquarius either got Libra in their chart or Sag, you got strong Libra in your chart. But I am picking up strong Libra here. But I feel like you guys are working together in the month of February for sure. Yeah, Sag and Aquarius, y'all making things work. Y'all could also be going into business together. I feel like y'all, yeah, y'all just like Sag and Virgo. I feel like y'all going into business together. Y'all helping each other grow. 
y'all could learn from each other. This is a great relationship. There's mutual respect here, mutual partnership. There's a lot of love here. Also, I feel like somebody pregnant in this situation too. What's going on with all the babies? So congratulations, Sagittarius and Aquarius. If somebody is finding out that they are pregnant, if you guys are having a baby, congratulations. I'm also seeing here that you two could be moving as well. All right. There's a lot going on here with you guys. The will of fortune is here. The will is turning in your favor. You guys are aligned with divine timing. Everything is connected. Is in perfect sequence. Uh, congratulations, Sagittarius and Aquarius. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Sagittarius, last but not least, you're dealing with a fishy. You're dealing with a Pisces. Sagittarius dealing with Pisces in the month of February. What's going on with that? Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius that are connected to the star sign of Pisces in the month of February? Sagittarius connected to Pisces in the month of February. Y'all see these orbs? I'll be picking up on these orbs. <laughs> That spirit showing up on camera. I can't even see that shit here, but I can see it when I look in camera. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all already know what time it is. Sagittarius, you dealing with a Pisces. Sagittarius, here you are, baby. First card out. Okay, temperance. So you in your power, baby. You in your natural form, right? You staying grounded, staying calm in this situation. You very creative. Somebody here could draw. Somebody could be an artist, whether that's you or this Pisces. All right, I feel like this person is your muse, all right? Could also be drawing this person naked is what I got. Some of y'all are doing like um a portrait for this person, um, like a nude portrait, right? I'm seeing art here. Somebody's like posing. Their body is fucking sick too. Like the person that's getting drawn is like beautiful, yeah. Y'all obsessive though. Y'all obsessed with each other. Somebody here is very obsessive, all right? But let's see if this is going to be like cool, yeah. Person could have Aries in their chart or Capricorn. All right. But Sagittarius and Pisces, y'all could be getting married. I see a relationship. I see a commitment forming here with this Four of Wands. All right. Clarify the Four of Wands for Sagittarius and Pisces. Oh, yeah. We got the Hierophant. So some of y'all are getting engaged, proposed to. That's what's up. Sagittarius and Pisces, congratulations. And somebody here is an artist for real. Very creative spirit, creative energy. All right, so Sagittarius, that was your February love read. Take what resonated, leave what didn't. Again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for rocking out with me. Thank you for watching this video. I love y'all so much. Wish you the best in the month of February. Till next time, peace.